About a week ago, I made a video of um, all the DC EU movies swapping with um, MCU. Wait, wait, what an MCU version of the DC EU would look like. But now I'm going to invert that. We're gonna put DC movies into the same format as the MCU. So let's begin with our first one, which is the Iron Man equivalent. This will be a five or six part series, by the way. The Iron Man equivalent is Superman and Lois, season one, but condensed, so it'll be like, oh, Superman, yeah, it's just Superman, no Man of Steel or anything, because I don't think Man of Steel 2 and Man of Steel 3 sound, sound like good titles, you know, but, um, John Henry Lyons, aka Steel, will not be, like, a villain, he'll straight away be a good guy, and the main villain can still be the, um, Morgan Edge, or Tauro, or the Eradicator, whatever you want to call him, but he is definitely the best DCCW villain, other than, like, Reverse Flash, I guess, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, the War Machine equivalent himself will be um, John Henry Irons, and like the Pepper Potts equivalent will be Lois Lane. Yeah, so that is Iron Man releasing in still 2008. I don't know why I'm saying that. But next we have the Incredible Hulk's equivalent, which will be Aquaman. So Aquaman is um, he shares two character's equivalentness. Um, Hulk and a character that we'll get onto later, but it's pretty obvious on who that is. Um, so yeah, this will pretty much just be the um, Incredible Hulk, well, no, the Aquaman movie, but releasing in 2008, and no Justice League references, because like, Justice League hasn't happened yet, you know. And then the third movie is Iron Man 2, or this time it will be a condensed version of Superman and Lois season 2. Still with the Bizarro or Inverse world, just I think only Bizarro should come out of that, and you shouldn't have any of that. Um, Ali Alston, pretty sure that's her name, I'm trying to merge the two wor worlds. I think it, like, you can have a little bit of that, but like, Ali should fail when Bizarro gets through, I think. Yeah, that's why I want the that condensed Superman and Lois. Then, um, the fourth movie will be four. No way, guys. Um, but four's equivalent will be Wonder Woman, just like it was in the other universe switch around movie. So this will pretty much just be the 2017, I think, Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. Because pretty similar to 4, you know, I guess. Um, then, the next movie is Captain America the First Avenger, which will swap with the Batman. Yes, the 2022 Batman movie. Um, this will pretty much be the same as First Avenger, no, not First Avenger, the Batman. Oh, I'll get used to it soon. Batman, but um, with Riddler still as the main villain, and also add Jason Todd's Robin to this movie, and have him sort of die, be killed by the Riddler or something, in the same way that Bucky apparently died in First Avenger to set up for um, the Winter Soldier equivalent. But um, yeah, the Robin continuity thing will be mixed up just a little bit, and Batwoman will also be in this movie as an Asian culture equivalent, because why not, I, I think I might swap her later with somebody else, she isn't that important, Agent Carter's here, but um, then the Avengers equivalent, um, quite obvious, Justice League, but this time it will be a shorter version of Zack Snyder's Justice League, but it will still just be called Justice League you know, um, so yeah, that is phase one of what the universe, like, what DC had the format of the MCU. This one had movies or shows that turned into movies that all 
already all existed, but I promise we'll get to new stuff later on, especially the multiverse saga. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.